education is key. Um, to really move forward in science and engineering, you really, I mean, you have to, you have to really educate yourself in a lot of ways. So I went to high school in South Carolina. From there, I graduated and went to Georgia Tech. And at Georgia Tech, I studied biomedical engineering, and I also did um, a minor in econ, and it was wonderful. I had a really, really good experience, and I explored things outside of that as well. Um, I have side interests in art, and so I did art and architecture and studied abroad and those things, and those experiences just enrich you and make broaden the way that you think about things. Um, from there, I got a scholarship. I was very fortunate to go to Oxford University in the UK, and I... Uh, did my PhD in a joint program with the National Institutes of Health in Washington, D.C. So I went back and forth between D.C. and Oxford for my PhD, which was, again, in biomedical engineering, but at this time it was a focus in nanomedicine. Um, and so that's where I gained a lot of understanding of these problems and what we're trying to tackle. And from there on, I did two postdoctoral fellowships as well. One at the National Cancer Institute and one at the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, and further um, develop these kinds of technologies. And that's where what we are doing now at Bicanta really spun out from, was from that work.